Okay, we're gonna do a little walk around video on this 1968 International Harvester 1100. This is just to give you guys a little better view of the imperfections. This truck, I believe, was a repaint at one point in its life. But it has a great patina on it. Nice weathered look with little chips and stuff. But it's not coming apart. It actually has a clear coat over the top of all of that, protecting it. Clear coat is not perfect. It has some imperfections. But it's preserving that patina, keeping it from rusting very badly. Like I said, just preserving it. It has a few little dings here and there in the sheet metal. You can see some over the wheel well here. Some kind of dimples in it there. But generally, all around, it's really straight. Again, it's got some little dings and dents in her. There's a good little one right there. There's one right there. The only rust on this truck, the only rust is on the bottom right here. It's solid. So this is it. It's about six inches in length. About one to two inches high on the back. That is the only rot on this truck. Tailgate's in great shape. Do have the hitch for it. And this is the biggest dent in her on the back there. But again, just a great Great patina on the truck. A very nice straight truck. Rust free. It's factory international running lights. Clearance lights on the roof. Those are original. All the glass is in excellent shape. No fading, I should say fogging, hazing in the glass. There's no chips in any of it. Again, bed's real straight. Primarily used as a, just a farm truck on the property here wasn't real heavily used just moving stuff around again there's a little overspray on the build tag pretty sure it was reshot at one point it's safe to say it's got some primer on the cab on the inside you can see it's wearing off on the floor there but it is all there it has all the trim everything in the truck has the cab light, the dome light I should say. Needs a headliner. But everything is all there. This is a very rare fully optioned model. It has the automatic transmission. Let's see all the gauges on it. I'm assuming that's 111,000. It's possible it's 211,000 on there. Heat and defrost options, all the gauges. It has, again, automatic, optional automatic transmission. It has a split bench option with the flip down armrest. Both the seats have a similar look on them. They need to be reupholstered. I've got some covers on there. But it also is the split, so driver and passenger seats can move up and down independently. 
Again, just a really nice, solid, all there truck. Driver's door closes beautifully. Passenger door needs a lower hinge, so it sags, you need to pick up on it. But all the latches and everything work great. You can see where it's been rubbing a little bit here from that. Glove box opens, it's all intact, everything's in there. Only thing with the glove box is the dash pad's getting in the way because it's curling out, which you can see the dash pad needs to be replaced. It could use a resto on the interior, if you were so inclined, carpet kit, reupholster the seats, dash pad, headliner. It would be very, very nice interior. Again, lower hinge is the one that needs to be replaced. Lift up and the door closes very nicely. Window regulators, all that works. All the electronics work on it. Windshield wipers, all functions. The park function works on the wipers. Turn signals, hazard flashers, all of it. The heater works. All right, we're gonna do a cold start video. Throttle all the way to the floor, pull the choke out all the way. She'll fire right up. Uh, truck's been sitting for a good week or so. Great oil pressure. She's charging. Get her out of the garage here. A little dusty even sitting in the garage. I'd say it's a balmy 35 degrees outside today. So considering how cold it is, she was in the garage, but considering how cold it is, it started up pretty good. It's a real healthy motor. It drives great. It ain't perfect, but man, she's a runner. Do a little uh, test drive, yeah? Alright, truck's all warmed up. Here to give you guys a little rundown. Reverse. Neutral drive. Little indicator thing that goes on the back of the column is missing on that guy. So that's first. Second. So just a great driving little truck. Motor's real peppy, real responsive. Transmission shifts beautifully. Turn signal indicators all work. So do cancelers.
steering's really tight on this. It actually very responsive. I just put a new drag link in there. That works great. Nice and tight. All the heater works. Fan makes a little bit of noise, but both speeds function. It's got defrost on there too, which is really sweet. The uh, only gauge that doesn't work is the fuel gauge, uh, the amp meter, speedo, odometer, temperature gauge, oil gauge, pressure gauge, they all work. Wipers. Full speeds. Uh, horn doesn't work. I said fuel gauge doesn't work. All the lights work. Brights work. Dip switch on the floor for that, for the dimmer. That works. Um, the clearance lights on the overhead of the cab, uh, some of them work, some of them need new bulbs. But yeah, uh, it's pretty much uh, all there, just great little truck. Like I said runs out beautifully. Power steering is great. Nice, easy one handed U turn. And this transmission just shifts like butter. It does have the International Harvester Corporation automatic transmission in it, uh, which is pretty cool. I feel like most of the ones I've seen, they got the Borg Warner in them. Uh, it has the uh, IHC green and white aluminum build tag riveted to the side of the transmission housing um, with like a, a four-digit serial number stamped into the side of it. Kind of cool. Nice firm shift under full throttle. got a little bit of front end vibration in the wheel. I'm going to chalk that up to the tires. It could stand to use a new set of tires on there. Um, they seem a little out of balance. The hubs on the front end, the bearings, the wheel bearings, they all look good. When I had the front end up while I was doing the drag link, that all felt tight. But otherwise, yeah, she runs on the road pretty dang smooth. A little bit of wind whistle out of the driver's vent window, uh, but otherwise it's actually pretty quiet in the cab.
Again, just a beautiful driving truck. Just a nice little cruiser. I said a little bit of noise from the fan it hasn't been getting used a lot just started using it some more it should clean up a little bit the more you run it yeah, it's a great little truck I'm very happy with the way this truck runs so if you have any questions, any concerns, shoot me an email. Be happy to send you more photos, more high res video, whatever you'd like to see. And the truck's in northern Idaho. If you're having concerns about shipping, I haven't had any problems with shipping trucks out. I've got more than enough room to keep her on my property secured until we can get the logistics of a shipping truck arranged. All right, guys, got the International up in the air a little bit here. Just wanted to give you guys a little view of the undercarriage and that motor so you can see what's going on. A uh, nice thing about these engines, they take the same Motorcraft oil filter as any FE blocked uh, Ford, which is convenient. Like I said, pretty clean truck. It's not perfect. I, you know, new fuel pump, a bunch of little things like that. Um, the big thing here is just how straight and rust free this thing is. Nothing fancy with the exhaust. Real simple, but it uh, sounds pretty good. There are no leaks. Manifolds look good. Motors pretty dang dry, relatively crud free. Again, just a really nice, clean, rust free truck. Let's see under the bed. That is all solid. There's no rot on this truck. It's got a little bit and uh very back corner behind the bed. Try to show on the walk around to the outside of the truck. But the underneath is super clean. Again. No rot. The corners there. Trying to move back so you guys can see everything that's going on here. Corners of the cab, I mean, they're all, it's all perfect. I mean, even the body mounts are great and the mounts themselves are in really good shape. So, big bonus there. Passenger side. Fuel tank's in really great shape. 
no dings in her. pack mufflers do the job frame rails are nice and straight it's a real solid great little truck I think these corners are good like I said this is the only actual rod on the truck. It's actually pretty solid. It's a very small area, about two by six inch area there, right on the back, lower section of the bed. The tailgate's nice. Really impressed. Really impressed with how clean done the carriage is on this thing. Give you another view of the bed here. A couple bonuses, like I said. Um, truck does come with the uh, hitch that slides into the back underneath the tailgate. If you want to pull something with it, I guess technically that's the rear bumper. Um, also has matching spare wheel the, the same kind of rim um, and the bottle jack and lug nut wrench and the little bar to spin the bottle jack are all underneath the seat it's got all those too the other thing is there is a little bit of a bend in the tailgate it's not real bad it's pretty minimal actually but it's there so like i said before um if you guys can think of anything you want to see you got any Questions, more wanting more video, you wanting more photos, anything of that nature, just shoot me a message. I'll be happy to get more of that your way. There you go.